Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James, and we're coming to you once again this week from the DEMA Show 2019. Now, I have a little confession to make for the regular viewers of this channel. If you've seen all the footage that we've put out in the last six months, I think something like 45 videos, every single thing you've seen was shot on either an iPhone 10 or a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Everything you've seen. That's my confession. But with the way that this channel has grown, we felt that it was time to make an investment in a real camera. So we've invested in a mirrorless camera. And I thought while we're at DEMA, I'd draw in the help of my good friend Robin here from Backscatter, who's going to talk me through my different options for getting a housing so that when we're not just shooting the studio shots, we can actually go and, and get the underwater shots on the same camera, of course. Um, if you don't know Robin and Backscatter already, uh, you should absolutely go and check out their channel. I will link it in the description below. Robin, great to see you, mate. I hope you're having a good Dima. It's going great, James. It's awesome to have you here in the booth, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So mirrorless cameras are obviously coming up. You've got the smaller body. You've got a, a better price point than a full-size DSLR, uh, and that reflects through on housings as well, right? What should I be looking for? Well, honestly, right now, no matter whether you already have a mirrorless camera or you're looking for a new one, I, it's kind of, to me, one of the most exciting cameras to be shopping for right now or to be looking for housings for. Mirrorless cameras, you know, they kind of had some connotations to them in the past. It was like, well, is it as good as an SLR? Is it really better than a compact? Where do they fit in? Is it just a compromise? And now we've kind of seen mirrorless cameras come to the point where we've got everything from you know, the Sony Alpha series or the especially like the 64 and 6500 that's as small as a point and shoot but delivers amazing quality out of a crop size sensor mm -hmm. um, up to full frame incredible cameras now the Sony a7R4 is doing a 61 megapixel image you know yeah. we've got Nikon with the Z7 Canon with the EOS R Panasonic with the GH5 shooting 4k 60 it's like there's kind of a mirrorless for everything now and whether you're after your pure photo pure video or a little bit of both there's a different tool for every job and there's a ton of housings to support them. So yeah, absolutely. It's a great time to be a mirrorless shooter. It really is. And, and, you know, obviously we're more heavy on the video side than on the stills. So that's totally cool. What should we lo be looking for in the different housings? So uh, the cool thing about backscatter is we sell housings from just about everybody. Yeah. So when you really want to get down to the nitty gritty and the pros and cons, uh, you know, we just love geeking out about this stuff. So it's kind of cool. But some of the main housings that are that we're going to be looking at here are from Nauticam. Uh, we've got some stuff from Enon here at the show. We've got Icolite. Isoda, Subal, Aquatica, Olympus is back over here. We've got a lot of really, really cool, exciting stuff. So in the yeah. mirrorless world, almost everybody's got something going. If you want really like some of the slickest accessory integration and some of the most ergonomic, really highly engineered controls, it's hard to beat a Nauticam. Yeah. They're doing a lot of really ex exciting stuff with underwater optics as well. So they, they've kind of got the most accessories that are just plug and play right with their housings that open up some really cool shooting opportunities. I I like Icolite a lot too for how inexpensive and affordable they are and the lightweight polycarbonate construction, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of people's first housing because it's easy to get into, it's easy to set up, easy to shoot with, and hey, they're you know they're great for what they are. Excuse me, Isoda as well, which uh, here we've got with the Saga Magic Ball accessory lens on it. So these guys partnered up with us a couple years ago to come over from the European market and get into North America with us as their distributor. They make a fantastic housing. I can field strip and service this thing on the deck of a boat it's so simple it's rugged and rough and tumble enough to you know match up with just anything here yeah uh, Subal for their precision and some of the more kind of cool elegant designs that they're known for Aquatica super durable super rugged um, I mean it's it's kind of hard to go wrong you know it's it like, is, yeah. come by the booth get your hands on these things feel what they're like get a sense for the controls and how they open and close how the ports work and find the one that works best for you and when you're not sure hey, come talk to us we got the answer you know yeah yeah, absolutely. So um, across all the brands then, as price increases, what should I be looking for in terms of build quality and feature? Well, I think it really boils down to what matters most to you as a shooter and what are you trying to do with it, you know? Yeah. Are we going out with just pure wide angle in mind? Do we want to focus on macro? Do we want to have a rig that's ready for both? Are we going to 
going to be traveling a lot or are we going to be working mostly from home base? You know, there's certain things that go into that. It's like, you know, how big of a case am I going to need to travel with this gear? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what lenses and ports do I want? You know, there's there's a lot of variables there. Um, are you going to be free diving with it or, you know, are we going to be, uh, you know, just doing normal scuba with it? Can we run a bigger dome and not have to worry about some more, you know, pushing through the water and things like that? So different ways to tweak it, but I'd say no matter what platform you get into, there's a way to adapt it best for what you want to do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. When we start getting into that, that's a good thing to kind of start talking about the lighting equation too, because that's the other side of it, you know? If we're just going to be shooting with natural, available ambient light, then we probably want a camera that's going to produce a really accurate white balance at depth, because especially if we're shooting video without lights, we've got to have that color right, yeah. you know? Some do that better than others. So there's all these pros, cons, trade-offs, and we try to do our best with publishing content that helps folks understand that so that they're armed with that knowledge when they call us they can go hey this is kind of what I'm looking at who can I talk to that's going to give me a little bit more info and hey and here we are just know. call Robin no but I mean I know you from your own channel and like I said guys if you haven't checked it out already the links below if you've subscribed to divers ready you absolutely need to go and check these guys out um, you're based out of Monterey California yeah. you have the Monterey shootout every year which is a big video contest which is on my bucket list to actually go and and film the contest from a behind the scenes kind of thing but also to be in it and get get some California diving gun done yeah, for sure I'm from the UK I'm not scared of cold water you're not going to scare me off so how's the Dima show been for you it's been great I mean we're you know we're staying busy in the booth it's awesome we've got all the gear to talk about we've got a lot of new exciting stuff going on too so I feel like we've just had a steady stream of new friends coming through it's been fantastic absolutely we appreciate it Robin thank you so much for your time really appreciate it absolutely uh, guys like I said links below to the backscatter channel I've learned so much from the backscatter uh, videos that Robin is the chief in charge of putting out there and he loves to harangue all the manufacturers and the, the people from the different companies and put them on the spot and have them explain the specs of all their stuff so definitely check it out links below uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already we appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for being a part of this awesome community till next time my name's James this is Robin from backscatter dive safe dive often Boom. and that's my outro that's it mate perfect that was great man Thanks, appreciate James. that yeah super yeah. easy dude yeah <laughs>